Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 230. That is, in bug life cycle, who opens the bug? Let me answer. So, who opens the bug in bug life cycle or defect life cycle? The simple and straightforward answer for this question is the developer, guys. Okay, the developer to whom the bug is assigned, okay? So there will be different developers in the project, right? To which developer that particular bug is assigned, that particular developer, when that particular developer is ready to fix the bug, okay? In order to fix the bug, the developer will open the bug. Understood, guys? You see, there will be many defects reported by the software testers, but all the defects cannot be assigned to a single developer. There will be different developers in the project. So different defects will be assigned to different developers. So once these defects are assigned to a particular developer, when the developer has the time to start fixing the bug, then at that time, the developer who want to fix the bug will change the state of the defect from assigned state to the open state and start fixing the bug, okay? So let me show you this defect life cycle, okay? It's a common defect life cycle. It's not specific to any defect tracking tool because you see, if you go into the market and see different uh, defect tracking tools like uh, Zoho bug tracking tool, Jira tool, version one, eh, many tools are there in the market, guys. Okay, different tools follow different uh, bug life cycles or defect life cycles. But I have taken a common one, okay? A common one uh, that everyone should have knowledge of when such kind of questions uh, will be asked in the interviews, okay? This is a general or common, okay? Uh, defect life cycle or bug life cycle that can be applicable for many defect tracking tools available in the market, okay? As you can see here, so once the tester reports the defect, it will be in the new state, okay? And dev project manager, once the dev project manager decides that it's a valid defect, it's a, not a duplicate defect, and uh, it need to be fixed uh, right away, and, uh, and it cannot be delayed, okay? The fixing of this particular defect cannot be designed. At that stage, this dev project manager will assign this particular defect to a particular developer, okay? There will be different developers in the project. To a particular developer, this particular defect will be assigned. Then the status of the defect will go from new state to the assigned state in that case, okay? Once the defect goes to the assigned state, one of the developer, it will be assigned, okay? When the developer want to start fixing the defect, okay? When, when the developer want to start working on this particular assigned defect, then the developer first will change the status of this particular defect from assigned state to the open state. Then only the developer will start fixing the defect, okay? So this is what is a defect life cycle and uh, developer is the one, okay? The developer to which the def defect or bug is assigned, right? That person is the one who is going to change the status to the open state. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.